everybody, how's it going? John Hubbard here, the Blueprint Podcast host and SANS instructor and course author in the cyber defense curriculum. Hey, so I just wanted to make a quick video here because I was scrolling through some internet feeds and I ran across this article here from ZDNet that says, cybersecurity last year was a record year for attacks and Log4j made it worse. Uh, Checkpoint Research said that there was a 50% increase in overall attacks per week on corporate networks. You read that article and you think, wow, 50% more, that's really bad. So you dig into this, right? And you think, oh, I wanna know the details here, what's going on? Now, I often make a kind of point of this particular topic in class because anytime I hear about the count of attacks going up or the percentage of attacks going up, I like to decompose that and think like, who's behind this? Why are they saying it? Uh, is it real? And is it something that we actually need to act on as a cybersecurity, I don't know, workforce, right? So let's deconstruct this real quick. Uh, what Checkpoint says on the source for that ZDNet article is it's this blog post here, uh, same thing, cyber attacks increase 50% year over year. Q4 2021 all-time peak in weekly cyber attacks per organization counting over 900 attacks per organization per week. Now, first off, let's ask ourselves, do we think 900 attacks per week is too many or too few? And what do we think about that actual number itself? Is that something that makes sense to you? How do you count the actual count of attacks that are occurring at your organization? Have you ever tried doing this? I can tell you when I was a SOC manager in the past, this is a question that I would very often get. People would come to the SOC and they'd say, hey, uh, you know, management would say, can you tell me how many times we were attacked this week? And it was one of my least favorite questions for a number of reasons, but to keep this video short, ultimately what an attack is, is not well-defined. And therefore, when you get this question, you understand why they want it. Because if you can say, well, we've been attacked a lot and nothing happened, well, we're doing a good job here on the SOC, right? And so, we have to come up with a way of rationally answering this question or at least getting to the point that the person asking the question is trying to get to, which is a different thing, right? And so when you see this and you see 900 attacks per organization per week, first off, what is an attack? Is an attack an attempt to port scan the firewall? It could be, right? Logically, that could turn into an attack. Is an attack a attempted Apache log4j exploit, right? Yep. Most of us would probably call that an attack because it shows ill intent. It is a attempted exploit. But what if someone's just scanning the internet to see if that thing is available or not, right? Is that really an attack? What about a virus being installed on someone's machine? Yeah, that's probably an attack, right? But maybe it got caught immediately and it didn't go anywhere. All right, maybe we count it, maybe we don't. What about a phishing email? If you're gonna include every single attempted delivery of a phishing email, 900 doesn't seem like enough, right? So we clearly have a definition problem when it comes to this sort of thing. Now, on the flip side of this, what are the people asking this question want? They want to understand probably the risk that they are operating in in the environment as it is today. So when you see an article like this, what it's probably telling you is we are in a situation that is likely more risky than we were in before. And that is ultimately probably what's most important less so the numbers themselves. And so when you look at this sort of thing, you can say, well, where did they get the number, right? What are they counting as an attack? I looked through this article, I tried to find the answer to it. They have this graph here that shows it went from 500 up to over 900 over the course of 2020 Q1 up to where we are now uh, at the beginning of 2022. They actually broke it down by industry saying education and research had 1600 attacks per week. Interesting, at least comparatively, right? Assuming they're doing this in a standard way across all industries. Hardware vendor was the lowest at 367. Scrolling down to the bottom here, what they say is the statistics and data used in this report uh, were detected by checkpoints, threat prevention technologies, stored and analyzed in threat crowd. So we don't know how they're counting attacks and they actually don't say here. They just say, we're using our tools to do it. Does that make the number wrong? Well. I don't know, right? Because it depends on what your definition of an attack is to say whether it's wrong or whether it's right. And so what they are doing is consistent within their own numbers. What we can take from this report, in my opinion, is yes, the risk inherent in operating right now seems to be higher. 
the attacks have gone up at least the way that they're looking for them, which means if they're seeing more attacks, there's probably more attempted attacks. But specifically, how many attacks are going on, whether it's 900, whether it's you know 20,000, whether it's two, that's probably less important. When you read an article like this, I would not pay too much attention to the number. What I think we should all think about is, is the environment today on the internet operating as a company using anything on the internet? Is it more risky than it was a month ago, a quarter ago, or a year ago? And the answer here appears to be yes. But when it comes to actually recording the number of attacks that you are experiencing, if you're trying to do this for your own organization, my suggestion to you is not just throw out a number because no one's gonna know what it means and there's not really a whole lot you can do as that number goes up. So think about defining that number in a very, very specific way and then trying to define it in a way that helps steer exactly what you would do as a response to that number going up. So an example of that. Very simple thing might be how many attacks did we see this week being converted into how many attempted phishing emails did we see this week? Maybe you had 100 the week before and now this month you're seeing 1,000 a week. You can take that number and you can break it down into successful phishing attempts, right? So you have how many were attempted, how many are successful. If those numbers go up, you probably have a good case to say, all right, we need to get some better phishing prevention, right? It's clear that when something goes up, you need to address it with some kind of compensating control. In that case, you know, better phishing prevention and analysis and sandboxing and whatever else you have, uh, that might be the way to do it. If you just saw the number 100 go to 1000, the next obvious question is, well, what is that? What do we do about it, right? So if you're trying to track actual numbers, be specific, tie them to something that you can actually do about that particular number and then go from there. I'd love to hear from all of you. How do you count attacks? Do you count attacks or do you just try to base the risk level on something else? Uh, this is a conversation I always love having with students and the community and everyone else because it is something that we all wanna know. How dangerous is the internet today? But what we do about it and how we act on that number and how we even count that number can be very contentious and confusing. So please comment on this video and let me know what you think. And thank you for watching.